At Berkeley Haas, we've made a major commitment to experiential learning in our executive MBA program. In fact, 25% of it is dedicated to that. Our executive MBA students have five of these immersion weeks, whether it's Washington, D.C., or Shanghai, or Silicon Valley. They're an ideal balance of theory and practice. Clearly, in any MBA program, there's, there's a need for both an experiential component and an in-class learning component. In my view, if you can create the right experience, that it will never be forgotten and that it will have an, an impact on the decisions that people make in a way that's much more profound. So I increasingly view experiential learning as the way to truly have an impact on the lives of students. So I came to business school thinking that most of the learning would be happening in the classrooms, but what's unique about this program is that so much of it happens in the field. For people like myself, this is exactly what we need right now, is that experiential learning to take us to the next level. The immersive experience offers unparalleled access to leading Haas faculty, renowned entrepreneurs, and global innovators. In thinking about Silicon Valley Immersion Week and how we set up the program, my primary objective is to figure out how to get these people in front of a set of possible role models and life models, have them sit down across a very small table from them, have them hear their stories, have them imagine themselves in that role, and that's something that can only be done on site, in place, in space. Silicon Valley Immersion Week is probably the best experience that I've had in this program so far. It was an incredible week. We had class at Facebook, Google, Airbnb. Silicon Valley Immersion Week wasn't just about the great faculty. And the amazing thing was that our professor, Toby Stewart, he leveraged his contacts, he opened up his Rolodex to introduce us to 35 different companies. We had the opportunity to meet with the founders, the CEOs, the presidents, the individuals who had built these companies from the ground up. I essentially had a rule that we weren't going to do a company visit if we weren't going to be meeting the founder, the, C the CEO, um, and um, prominent investors. And so I spent months calling everybody I knew who was an entrepreneur or founder of an interesting company and then persuading them to host a group of students. My favorite part of the week was engaging with so many early stage startups. We actually got to talk to entrepreneurs at their jobs in their offices, so it really demystified what it meant to be an entrepreneur. Every entrepreneur, every founder we talked to, uh, every product manager we talked to, everybody had a different story. I was able to take the real-time feedback that I got from entrepreneurs that work at companies of all different sizes, different categories, and actually take that disruptive thinking and apply it to my day-to-day -day job. So it really brought to life business rather than keeping it to the textbook. Immersion is all about making connections, both theory to practice and business to culture. It wasn't until Silicon Valley Immersion Week that I understood the context, the players, what it takes to be an entrepreneur, and what goes into venture financing. To really engage with top Haas faculty and industry experts who apply theory to practice on an everyday basis. You get to put it into practice and try it out in a safe environment and sometimes in a very different environment you've ever experienced. And the hands-on curriculum really helped me to understand more about entrepreneurship and how to take smart risks. It really helped me understand how the culture of Silicon Valley fosters and enables successful startups you know, like nowhere else in the country. It's an immersive week of cohort bonding, both peers and alumni and personal and professional. And then we had bonding experiences. We had times on buses. We had antics and games at night. We had dinners together. We had breakfasts together. We had an amazing bonding experience throughout the week. So in addition to the incredible curriculum, what I appreciated was the amazing bonding that took place during that week with my classmates. But what surprised me and what I really got from Immersion Week was the people aspect of it. And it was the beginning of a realization uh, that we were going to be supporting each other professionally and personally for the rest of our lives. Silicon Valley Immersion Week is a transformational experience. I thought being an entrepreneur was, was for 22-year-old kids with nothing to lose. But what I found from, from going through this Immersion Week was there are approaches I could take to minimize my personal risk and still become an entrepreneur. Speaking to a number of my classmates afterwards, I know a lot of them are thinking about their careers differently than they had before, so it was literally a life-changing experience for them. For me, it was a perspective-changing experience. It was a game-changing experience. It was a surprisingly eye-opening experience. 
And I had a shift that went on as I went through the week and said, I can do that. What came together at the end was, in my mind, spectacular. We had a bunch of students, I think, who learned a lot about entrepreneurship and about the nuts and bolts about entrepreneurship and maybe what a venture capital term sheet looks like. But much more importantly than that, the students at an emotional level had the chance to envision themselves in the role of the founder and to think about whether this is something that they wanted to do. And that's what we mean by a transformational experience. That's how we get people to think about their professional lives and their personal lives in a different way. And in that, in that concluding session, we had at least a dozen students come up and say, you know, I hadn't thought about this career path. I hadn't, I didn't think I had the characteristics of an entrepreneur. I didn't feel empowered enough to do this, but I'm rethinking all of that. And when I think back on my role as a member of the faculty, if I can facilitate that process, there is no more fulfilling teaching experience than that.